So this is my update for the Amplify Alien in 2022. We're going to see if it's still worth it. If you remember from my last video, I just bought one of these for whole house coverage. Today, I will be adding a second one and setting it up as a mesh. There was a Black Friday sale and it was $100 off. So I was able to pick up the same exact router for $100 less than I bought the original one. So I now have two. And the plan is simple. I'm just going to Ethernet backhaul this existing router to the new one. And I have a wall plate Ethernet jack that goes to my TV room or family room and a simple switch. So basically, you're just going to get on your smartphone app for Amplify. And you're going to, after you've hardline connected the new router to the old one and plugged in the power cable, you're then just going to open up your smartphone app and you should see a new pet mesh point option. So it should say new mesh point and you just click add to network. It will take a few minutes for it to propagate. So don't freak out if when you hit add to network, it's not immediately popping up or refreshing. Just give it a few minutes and it will eventually update on your app and you will see a second mesh point that has been added. You can also, if you want, add it to the network from the LCD on the new mesh router. I don't recommend doing it that way. It's just a little more complicated. Just use the app. It's so much easier to do it that way. And I just jump right into wireless and I make sure that my common SSID name of Hobbiton is enabled. And that will allow band steering to work. So it'll take devices and devices that connect better from 2.4 or 5 gigahertz will automatically be steered to the better band for that device. And also router steering. So I have two routers. They're on opposite ends of the house. It'll automatically steer the device, if I'm wandering the house, to the better router, the better connection speed. So those are important settings to have on. You can also add those additional bands, which I did. I typically only add those additional bands if I have devices that are in certain areas of the house that will never move. As you can see, we have the mesh set up. You see that blue line with the arrows. It means it's set up as a mesh and I've got Hobbiton 2 as my second router with a hard line backhaul. Now the configuration you want to enable here is Ethernet Backbone. What that will basically do is it will repeat or continue the Hobbiton common SSID all across the house on the second router. And that's it. That's all you really have to do. And for the most part, tell everyone just to connect to Hobbiton and you're going to be fine. They'll get the advantage of router steering and band, band steering. Now the mesh point also has some additional SSIDs. Typically, you would only turn those on if they're Wi-Fi 6 and you have devices that are near that that you want to put on the Wi-Fi network. But that's pretty much it in terms of the setup. If you want to restart the network, you go into your main router, Hobbiton in my case, and you just reboot it. And the way it will work is it will reboot the first router and the second router just sort of catches all of the settings of the first. You don't necessarily have to reboot the mesh. So then you can just jump into your Wi-Fi settings and you can see here I've got Hobbiton as the network that I'm going to tell everyone to connect to by default. And then I've got Bagend, Bywater, the Shire for certain devices. Weathertop, I should say, is a 2.4 gigahertz as is Bagend. And the Shire as well as Bywater are 5 gigahertz. And they're in different areas of the house. One router is in the office, the other one is in the family room. They're on the opposite ends of the house, so it's maximum coverage. So this is the mesh test, and we should expect to get extremely good up and down speeds, download and upload rates here. And we're getting great, great rates from our AT&T Fiber ISP. Could it be better? It could. I haven't moved to Google Fiber yet just because AT&T, every time I call them and threaten to cancel to move to Google Fiber, has given me amazing deals. So let's take a look at how things perform in the family room. As you can see, I'm getting near 600 in the house. And this is somewhere, this is pretty close to the new mesh router. And these rates are very respectable. 611 down, 377 up. That's great. In the yoga room, I did this test on the old router, just the single router, and it was decent but it's faster now. 
So the coverage seems to have improved significantly. I'm getting really good down and up rates. And the up kind of fluctuates, I've noticed, but my down rate and up rate in the yoga room has improved with the mesh setup. The biggest difference are the upstairs. So all the upstairs rooms, they were doing okay before. They're doing spectacular now. I'm getting basically between 500 and 600 all throughout the house now, all on Wi-Fi 6, 5 gigahertz. So my 2.4 bands, they're not even really needed inside my livable space of my house. I can do the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 all throughout my house. In fact, when I go out onto the back deck, which before I was getting very low, I think I'd have to look at my last video, but it was like 150, maybe, maybe less. I mean, I'm hitting, well, let's see. What do I hit, 500? Yeah, I hit 500 on the deck. Okay, <laughs> that's crazy. And it's because of the second mesh that I added. But this is the craziest part. I'm in my backyard, I'm near the back fence, maybe 50, 70, 50 to 75 feet away from the new mesh router I added in the family room. And uh, it's crazy. I, I mean, to be fair, there, there are some windows there, so there isn't like much interference. But still, I mean, I'm like in my neighbor's yard, basically. I'm still on the five gigahertz, and I'm getting 570 down. Now here's the garage, there's definitely metal, there's more interference, there's some concrete in the way. It's still crazy. I mean, I didn't even do a test for the garage in my last video because I didn't really have any range. And I'm getting like 574? What? I mean, look at my upload, it's crazy what I'm getting with the two mesh setup. It's totally nuts. Final thoughts? Are they worth it, having two of them? Absolutely, I mean, just look at it. The family room, 611 down, yoga room, 520. 597 master, 500 back deck, 578 backyard, 578 garage. This is nuts, two devices, right? That's not even the 2.4. If I got on my 2.4, I could be sitting in my neighbor's house and using my network. And this is a 3,000 square foot home and a half acre lot. It is not a small property, okay? Full house coverage, full yard coverage, full property lot coverage for two devices, it's still worth it.